hello guys and welcome to the channel now in this one we are going to talk about 10 interesting javascript projects for your portfolio as a web developer okay and basically these projects are actually just 10 out of the projects i build or i teach in my 100 days of javascript course okay so this is my website xenotrust academy and i just you know recently published my javascript course project based course 100 days of javascript um, the goal of that course is to help um, JavaScript um, developers sharpen their JavaScript skills by building projects every day for 100 days. Okay, so um, if you know that is something you're interested in, I'll leave a link in the description that will you know take you to the course where you can start learning and sharpening your skills as a JavaScript developer. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to be showing you 10 projects and i'll be telling you why those projects are important um, for your portfolio and what they would the message they would you know pass to your maybe your potential employer okay so let's get started the first is a very simple project a calculator project okay as simple as this project may be um it shows that you have a good grasp of javascript arithmetic operators okay so um for let's just see how the calculator works so basically it's a simple calculator i'll just do 10 and uh, let's just say 10 divided by uh 5.2 and see okay so this is what we get right we can clear we can do several other calculations okay so basically that's what it actually shows that you have a good understanding among other things of javascript arithmetic operators which you are going to need on the job many uh, of the times okay so the next project we're going to talk about is the a digital clock okay now a simple digital clock that shows the time the day um the date okay those three things it shows the time the day and the date right it looks like a very simple project right but what this project will show is that you have a good understanding of javascript date and time methods okay which is something you're going to use um, in your, you know, potential job, you know, as a web developer. Okay. And the next one we're going to do is uh, the next project we're going to talk about is a converter. Okay. Now on the screen here, I have a weight converter, but it doesn't have to be a weight converter. It can be a temperature converter. Okay. So this is just one of the projects we build also, right? And basically a converter will just show that you have a basic understanding of math and you know how to use javascript for um different kinds of calculations so this is a width converter right if i just type anything into any of the fields it will convert on the other you know um what's it called i can't find the words right now right on the other um, values so let me just do this one you see it's also converting on the other um, input fields as well so it's just a simple converter right like i said it doesn't have to be a weight converter it can be a temperature converter so this is celsius fahrenheit kelvin anyone any field i type into is going to convert on the other automatically okay so you see yeah that's how it works right so any kind of converter you do will you know spice up your portfolio project right it will show that you have a command of at least basic math and how to apply it with javascript okay which is important okay the next one is a testimonial slider a slider really not it doesn't necessarily have to be a testimonial slider anything that has a slider right so but this is a testimonial slider right um i'll click here and it will go to the next um uh, testimonial right like so okay all right so this is something that is very common on uh websites and projects you know the live projects that you see online okay so it's something you should have a grasp of right then this shows that you have a good grasp of dom manipulation okay <coughs> excuse me now the next one is any project that has to do with local storage okay um using local storage is um is a part of the web storage api right um so this is just a simple landing page right it has this um toggle here dark right so if i refresh the page you see it's on live now i'm going to click on this one and watch what happens so it becomes dark the idea is that if i refresh the page it still stays dark that's because this guy is saved to the local storage okay 
if i click on light it takes it back to light mode and if i refresh the page it still stays on light so this is a dark um dark mode toggler or dark light mode toggler okay um still talking about the local storage right is simple to do app right is something you can actually use and you know apply local storage right so if i refresh this page this is a to do app let me just add a task so let me see um cook um cook food and if i add that to the task it's here now the interesting thing is if you refresh the page it still stays on the it persists it stays on the page because this information has actually been saved to the local storage right um so this is also one of the projects we explain in details in the course in the javascript course right um so i think that's about it then the next one we have is okay this is actually a like a count up app right and this will show that you also have a good grasp of DOM manipulation so basically what will happen is if i scroll into the view of this next section so let me scroll into the view and see what happens so it counts up right when i scroll into the view right so it's something that you know is going to be very spicy if you have in your portfolio so let me just do that one more time if i scroll down you see that's when it counts up okay yeah so that's um, one of the projects then a game right any kind of game right you can just build okay it doesn't have to be any specific one but it will actually show that you have a good grasp of you know probably working with objects and um dumb manipulation as well okay so um this is just a simple running game i built for the projects right um yeah so the next one is a form validation project right now this form validation project will simply show that you know how to you understand user permission right um if you try to submit the form you get these you know errors that you know the characters you must enter you know just warnings generally and then when you start to you know type in the right things into the form you know the error disappears and then so basically it just shows that you have a good grasp of handling user permission okay so a form validation project is something that you know would actually look good on your portfolio then this one is about an api project working with apis right um this actually looks like github profile right it's just a github profile app so i can search any user on github and their profile will be displayed here okay so let me just search for traversy brad traversy i don't know his username but okay so we're getting null on this one um let me search for john let me just see if i have to search for his full name okay great okay so this is uh brad travis's profile on github so this is one of the projects that you should that shows that you can you know work with apis and you know you can manipulate apis and stuff like that okay um very interesting project by the way um let's see another one the very last one right is this is just a, a simple mp3 player right okay so this mp3 player actually has like if you build this mp3 player you 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 first of all you're going to be working with web apis um the web audio api then you're going to be working with dumb manipulation and stuff like that okay so let me just show you what this one looks like so i can play a song There's even a playlist here, so you can actually just scroll out and select another song, for example, and it plays. Let me, let me do another one. Okay, so this is one of the projects too that we build in the course, and it's something that will actually look very good on your portfolio. Then I'm going to do a bonus uh, project. Um, I know I said 10, and this is the 10th one, I think. So, but then I just want to do a bonus. Uh, I, I want to add a bonus project to the list of the projects here, and this is just something you know. Um, I, I just you know came up with for the course. It's an AI project. Is I call it a pseudo AI project, right? Because it's actually not a typical AI, right? Many components of AI are missing, 
but then it's also an interesting project so basically it's just something that you can interact it's a program you can interact with right so if i choose to like <clears throat> if i choose to start um interacting with this um anita okay she can actually respond okay so let me just get started right now anita could you introduce yourself My name is Anita. I am a pseudo AI, built by Zeno to make things easier for developers and all humanity. Okay, so um so basically that's that's um it's an interactive program that, that I built for the project and it will really, you know, help you work with web APIs and stuff like that. So there like Anita can answer questions that she has enough data to answer, okay? um so let, let, let's just have some fun by asking anita some few questions anita will ai take over the world i don't think that is possible dr zeno yes there has been some advancement in ai but ai taking over the world is just a big joke pushed by those who don't really understand programming anita what is the best programming language this question would always be a subject of debate between developers, but I think the best programming language is the one you are most comfortable with. Okay, thank you, Anita. Anita, could you say goodbye to our audience? Thank you for watching this presentation. Don't forget to visit xenotrustacademy.com and purchase our JavaScript course. Goodbye and have a great day. All right, so if any of these projects are, you know, stuff you would like to learn how to build and probably add to your portfolio, then go ahead and check out my 100 Days of JavaScript course. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Uh, thank you so much and see you in another video.